Hello everybody. Well, today I am at Huntington Beach State Park in South Carolina. Huntington Beach State Park is one of the most beautiful places around here in Morro Beach. It's a little bit south of Morro Beach. And um, and what I did today, I went to the park and I drove to the north parking and I walked the beach. Now what is going to happen today, I'm walking all the way to the jetties. And as I'm walking there, I'm just picking up shells. But uh, what I'm really excited about to get to the end where the jetties are, and that's where all of the shells get piled up up there. So now today I'm just walking here and I'm picking up some shells. Some of them look clean. Some of them look like they've been bleached. Um, we had the wind and all of the stuff that came through not long ago. And, and it brought a lot of uh, shells to the beach. And uh, so I'm just going to check and see what we can find. I did find some cool things. I found some stuff that I have not found before. So let's go and see what we can find here. And if I see something dark from far away like this one here, I just walk to it. You never know what, what what's there. And in this case here, in this one here, I found this piece of wood. It's kind of cool. I figured I'd take it. I might do something with it, you know, dry it, maybe polish it. And you can see the tracks here. You see the tracks here? Those are four-wheelers, uh, rangers. They go back and forth and, ch and check on the beach to make sure everything is okay. So you see the tire marks on the, on the sand here. They don't look at the shelf. They just drive because they are used to it. They just drive. And I know them. And as a matter of fact, you will see Ranger Mike. A nice man over there. Mike is a great man. So you see him actually drive by soon. This one is blue crab. Some of them, they molt and they end up on the beach. Some of them, they just die naturally. And well, don't I really look like I'm lost with the camera here. <laughs> Not sure where to go. Well, I see something there. Let's see what's going on here. Well, what is it? Well, let's see. Oh, this is the part of... Uh, Florida horse camp that I found. It looks like it's been in the water for a long time. And there is actually a cockle clam shell. Beautiful shells. And this one here is a channel whelk. Channel whelk, they used to use them. Native Americans used them to drink water from them or anything from them. They also used them to make jewelry out of them too and that is just normal sea star that you see on the beach but this one looks like he was sitting in the sun maybe for a long time it doesn't it looks like stiff i did pick up uh, i did pick it up anything that is life i usually leave them there or i put them back in the water i let the nature do its work and um but if I decide, if I see any of them that is dead, and if I like to take them and then, you know, put them in a peroxide, I take some of them, but not all of them. As a, I have a test, I will have a, to do a video. How can you tell a live starfish from dead starfish? And look at this one here. My God, I have not found any this size before. Never found one this size before. And look at that, it's beautiful. Wow. And these things, they are fragile actually. They, uh, that's why you don't find them uh, in one piece. And there is a park ranger. Uh, it's a beautiful day today and uh, it looks like, you know, the tide is out. And if you look far, if you look far, you could see the jetties uh, at the end over there. And there is something else cool here. It looks really nice from far away, but it looks like is a giant Florida horse camp. Oh boy, this one has a stories to tell. Wow, that's been around for a long time. And what else do we find here? Oh, we find another nice 
shell and uh, look at this one looks like it's been in the mud for a long time that's why the color of it is dark like that so and I'm going to keep them but I have to be careful with them and I see something else there this one looks like a regular whelk uh, yeah it is a whelk yes it is and look at that one it's beautiful it's been dead for a long time but it's still it's beautiful now tomorrow today we are having that big wind and all of that that everybody's talking about today we are having that today as a matter of fact it passed us and past Morrow Beach today so tomorrow morning I am planning to go to the beach and see what happened this whole wind that the whole country was talking about it just went through here an hour ago so the ocean I'm sure it will push some cool things to the beach and uh, we'll find out tomorrow I'm planning to be there about three hours before the low tide tomorrow and see what we can find and look at this sea urchin here is dead one they are beautiful they are beautiful they are fragile if you pick anything like this here you want to make sure you take a little container with you and put them in there because if you put them with other shells they're not gonna make it home in one piece so just take something with you and uh, put them in a little container angel wings the same you might find something that is fragile put them in a little container if you want to take them home otherwise you just you know just wasting your time this is starfish I will have to do a video how to test how to see if they're alive or not this one I thought it was really a whole pair whelk but it was broken but I tell you what closer to the jetties we get we're gonna find some more of them those are beautiful um, and this one here is a shark eye snail usually you can tell the moon snail and shark eye snail most of the time from the bottom if you look in the bottom of them so they are cool I just uh, got all kind of sand on them and there is another big whelk now you can eat them you can make a lot of good dishes with them it tastes like conch that's exactly what it tastes like you can eat the shell what I mean you can eat the meat out of the shell if they are alive so this one I wasn't sure what it was um, so I just you know if you guys know what it is please comment star corals now we're gonna find some star corals that are not that color that they are black they are the same corals but they have been dead for a long time and they've been in the mud sitting in the mud for a long time look at this one those are thin you can't keep them uh, you have to keep them with the delicate shells in a container now this one is tiny nice little channeled whelk it's beautiful I love those whelks they're my favorite actually it's, I like them so let's go and see what happened this one look at this starfish that looks like it's pieces and and what we have here oh look at this horse conch Florida horse conch. This looks like it's been bleached for a long time. It looks like it's been out of water for a long time. It must have been on the dune here or somehow. I don't know. But I think I'm going to just take it with me. I have I have quite a few of them in, uh, in my place, but uh, I'll, take, I'll take it. What do we have here? Look at these colors. That's kind of cool, huh? Oh yeah, sometimes you know I give them to kids and I give them to some friends who can't walk anymore or they need help to walk uh, just to see the ocean. So uh, that's uh, a Ranger Mike. There you go, Ranger Mike. He just went by. He didn't even see me. Oh, it was cold day, so I have hats on and I had hand warmers around my waist. So and this one is cool. It's just roots from some tree slipper 
Now you know that slipper snails you see at the bottom ones, sometimes actually hermit crabs will go inside those and will start moving around with them. And the top ones are still alive. Another sea urchin. Aha, uh -huh. this is a pen shell. The meat inside them, the white meat in the middle, is, it looks like a scallop and it tastes very good and it's sweet too. Oh, there you go, that's another, you know, star coral, but it's been in the mud for a long time. So, I never seen tiny, small sea urchin like this one. Look at it, it just fell out, just fell off my hand. And look at the size of this one here. So what else we have here? Oh, look at this baby channel whelk. They look in the back over there. What I see, I see the horseshoe crab, parts from the horseshoe crab. They molt sometimes the parts of them wash on the beach like that too. I see it in the back right over there, so. But I'll get to it, I'll, uh, I'll get to that one. Shark eye. Oh, there you go, there it is. Oh yeah. If it was f just died, you can smell it from far away. So, but this one has been in the water for a long time. And what do we have here? Look at this starfish. Well, tomorrow probably there will be a lot, lot more of them on the beach. Channel walk. Pear walk, those are beautiful. We're gonna see some nice color ones soon here. I think those little ones, I should get a whole glass jar, clean them, and put them in a nice, nice small glass jar. I think they will really look cool to put them on the dining room table or coffee table. I think that will really look cool. Look at them, nice. Now, some people will walk by them because they are looking for bigger shells and they don't look close to these tiny little things look at them that's alive here or it was alive but i'm not taking it it's gonna smell it's just beautiful it was cold actually i was walking against the wind and that's why it was a little cold but coming back from the jetties it was easy now these are fishermen they are going to fish on the jetties over there and uh not sure what they're gonna catch uh, this time of year with the wind like that but hey Better than sitting at home, isn't it? And you know then what do we have here? Look at this. Here. That one is actually, you see him inside the conch, uh, the horseshoe, uh, horse conch, is what attached to the foot of the conch, basically. And when, they, that's what actually protects them. When they pull inside, and that's, uh, look at this, tiny little things. Now I did another video, I think last year, how to really clean them. It was kind of cool. I learned a few things, uh, how to clean them and how to bring the colors back on some of them. So if you go back on my channel, please check those videos. Please subscribe, you know. I'm new to this, I'm learning stuff and I love to be outdoors. I usually actually go on the boat to some islands and some places, but uh, Today I decided to just walk, it's good exercise. Makes my doctor happy. I'm exercising. Actually, I spent about four hours on the beach walking yesterday to do this uh, this whole thing that I'm showing you guys now. Now, well, let's go and see what we find here. Anything cool here? And these are really cool, I think I like them. You know, you can take them and you can put some little air plants inside them. They look like, I don't know, they look like octopus or jellyfish. They look like jellyfish. And uh, I think that's kind of cool. That's a shark eye. It's beautiful, shiny. Usually when they are freshly dead, something eats them. This is cool. Atlantic wing oyster. I love these things. Um, the color of them is nice, but you have to be careful. They do break. And, and we don't... We don't see a lot of this on the beach. In South Carolina, there are some, but 
I don't see much of them on the beach. Once in a while I find them, but they are cool. Now these things, the shells that you find them, two of them together, one piece, what you can do, you can actually open them, put a little bit of tacky glue and snap them back and put a rubber band around them and then you can just display them like that. They really look cool if you do that. Let's see. This one is a false agile wing. You see all of these uh, shapes and stuff on them is not straight. That's what they call them false. The, the angel wing, the, the real angel wing is straight, doesn't have the texture to it that much. And look at this. I think it's probably from uh, duck hunting season, uh, which actually starts next month in this area here. I see them all the time, duck hunting. Not the size of this one. Look at the size of it. I barely find one this size that is full. The whole thing is come full. That size, I barely find them. And look at this, the state of South Carolina shell. What a beautiful, beautiful snail. I just love them. They're really cool. Oh boy. There are some more. Actually, soon I will be going to a beach that I have seen hundreds, hundreds of them get washed on a dune. And uh, I've seen, and I probably would do that sometime soon here, probably in the next week or two. Horseshoe crab. Look at this horseshoe crab, it's a dead one. They use them to, in medicine, they take their blood and then they use the blood in medicine and they are very important. And they are actually one of the food for loggerhead turtles. Loggerhead turtles love to eat them too. So they are very important in this area. Oh, the glass, always pick them up. You know, somebody will walk and step on that one it won't be it won't be nice so i always pick up garbage but when i got closer to the jetties that's where all of the shells get piled up over there and i found a lot of garbage well i did not and this one is alive so i did not know that the garbage was piled up over there i did not bring enough bags with me so i'm planning to bring construction bags with me and pick up some garbage uh, tomorrow when I go over there after the wind here to pick up some garbage because there is a lot of garbage over there I like to just you know clean that so tomorrow there will be some bags tied to my wagon I'll have to show you guys what my what my shelling wagon looks like <laughs> I I love it so now when you walk on these shells, make sure you have the right shoes on. Don't walk on these things barefoot. You see, there are some sharp shells and uh, it's really, I've had shells on my foot before. Just swimming on, uh, you know, on the beach. So I try to be careful to put something in this. Today, actually, I have uh, heavy muck boots on because it's really cold. There are tons of shark eyes. Look at this thing. If you ever see this on the beach, those walks actually, when the tide goes out, they bury themselves. They bury themselves even if when the water is up sometimes. 
but that's what they do you got you'll see that and look at the color this is because it's alive and the color is beautiful and what do we do we put them back they can hide I mean they it's not like you know hiding and look at this one that's another one here now you see what I'm using my finger be careful if you ever do that uh, put gloves on or take a stick and pull them out if you are planning to eat them you know because people use them to eat and this is like food uh, then make sure you have something on your hands I'm very careful I've handled a lot of them so be careful and there is a little baby one here there is not much meat on this one here so there are a lot of shells on the beach too so there's not much meat this one is a channel walk here and now channel walk they do have a little bit of fuzzy things around them when they are alive they're almost like hair and once they get uh, once they die and they get rolled in the sand and all that the whole hair will kind of slowly come off now this one I just wanted to wash the two of them to show you guys the true color of these things here that water was a little cold look at this oh, beautiful So how we do, we put them back, let them just go. And this one is a channel wall. Now look at this one with barnacles on it. I'm like, this is really cool. And I looked inside it. There is a flat claw hermit crab inside them. Those flat claw hermit crabs are really cool. They're not like regular hermit crabs that uh, we see in uh, South Carolina. Those are really cool. So I let them back. He needs to go. It's cold. Crabs don't move fast when water is cold. Another angel wing. I am picking them up because a friend of mine from Boston told me to keep some for her. She has some project uh, she wants to do with the angel wings. Now you see this one has a little hair on it. Just uh... Now this is I'm close to the jetties right now. That's where the jetties are right now here. So the jetties are here and, uh, and they're all kind of shells. And I'm not the first one to come. That actually looks like part of a tree, palmetto tree. That looks like... I'm not the first one to get to this spot that day. So a lot of stuff got picked up by people. I see a lot of shells here. Well, tomorrow I'll be here. And I'll be coming to the same spot to see what is there. There are a lot of sunglasses. There are lots of uh, snorkels. Lots of... Uh, all kind of garbage um, I found a watch uh, two years ago it was working I actually picked it up the watch was working I'm like cool I washed it and it was cool people swim with all of their stuff in the water they lose them Another Florida horse gun, tiny one. Now here also I run into some people from Pennsylvania, from Jersey Shore, Pennsylvania. And these people actually know some people I know in Pennsylvania. It's a small world, guys. Now people say Jersey Shore, Pennsylvania, and people think that, oh, there is a shore and beach and like Jersey Shore, New Jersey. 
Oh, well, guess what? There is no beach over there. There is only river, Susquehanna River. And then there is also what they call it, creek. Now, you can't say creek in Pennsylvania. You have to say creek. So there is Pine Creek and uh, by Jersey Shore and also Susquehanna River. So now remember, Pennsylvania is a creek, is not a creek. That's a true tulip. Now these things you have to watch when you step on them. Don't. Uh, that's why I said it's called jackknife. <laughs> so make sure you put some. Uh, don't walk barefoot on these on these on shells. Anything can cut your foot. That's banded tulip, still alive. We'll wait for the tide to come back and take him back. Yeah, I don't have a lot of bags to carry any garbage to, but I'll, I'll take care of some stuff tomorrow. I'll carry some bags with me. And this one, they have beautiful colors. Now, if you take them and dry them, the color would never be the same. The color is just, well, this one's, uh, most of them, they die when they are, when they sit there for, you know, some stuff don't die, like tulips don't die. Some of the starfish will die if they stay out of water for too long. And it depends if it's summertime or in the winter time. That's all depends too. Now these things are cool. I call them roses. I picked up some of them, like 30, 40 of them one day, and I put them on a stick and I put them in a jar. It looks really cool. Now here is close by here. I just, that's when uh, Pennsylvania people just showed up. So, and I was talking to them. I showed them something about the, the whelks eggs. And uh, so uh, we learned a few things from each other. So That's a fish bone. <laughs> kind of looks cool. Oh yeah, those are well, that's alive though. Yeah. You see, that yeah. one is alive. Yeah, they said I have to cook them all. Or... Yeah, if you are, you're gonna eat them, yeah, you can eat them, yeah. Otherwise, you know, there are dead ones. You know what? How about this? How about if I trade you this big one with the little one you have? Do you mind? You don't have to cook it. You just take this one here and give me that one over there. Is that okay? I'm all right with it. Then you don't have to cook it. I'm all right with it. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just let it go in the ocean. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hey, how about this? Take one of these horse conch too here. That's horse conch. Yeah, this one actually, you can eat them. Oh, yeah. Um, and, uh, in March, you find more of them. But there is a lot of dead ones here, so. Alright, All right, but enjoy it, yes. We want to run into you up here. Yeah. What is that? You know those whelks that you pick up? Those uh, conch looking things here? Like this here? Yeah! Okay, this is their eggs, actually. And every one of them, there are casings here. There are babies in there. And uh, that that's... That comes out of them. Those, those things come out of this thing. They lay their eggs like this here. Oh, these come out of them. Yeah. Terry, look here. This thing here, you see that here? Look. 
See this walk here? Okay? Yeah. They lay their eggs, okay? They lay their eggs. What comes out of them? And they lay their eggs and they bury it, okay? See that here? Look. What they do, they bury their egg like this? Yeah. Okay? And then they and then they and then they go away, okay? And this actually in the ocean will just move like this and uh -huh. guess what? And then in every casing there is about 100 eggs. Oh yeah. And that's how these are formed. Yep, that's oh. the eggs. That's the eggs, yeah. They look like snakes, yeah. Yeah, this, they look like there a is snake. one here. Oh uh, yeah. I'll be like this is uh, look at this sea urchin here. Beautiful. Look at these sea urchins here. You go, you already have enough of them. <laughs> pocket. There you go. Alright buddy, I'll see you guys later. Any of this here. So I'm really excited to go back tomorrow and I will take my uh, camera and I will show you guys I'll try to take my charger with me and everything and we'll see what we can find and, uh, and I really appreciate you guys sticking around and watching this and hopefully you enjoyed it please subscribe oh there is one of the sunglasses scratches all over it so there are quite a few of them actually there so yeah I'm going to really charge everything I get my uh, jacket ready I get my my wagon ready so I'll show you guys what that setup is uh, that's an old knife handle I don't know I took it, it's sitting actually on my porch. I don't know if there is a knife on it or no, but it didn't look like. Now you see all these dead horseshoe crabs laying there. Some of these sunglasses, I mean, there were some sunglasses, Oakley sunglasses, they were all kind of sunglasses there. Look at this, I made a friend. This one actually just followed me. Usually in uh, later on of the year they don't come that close to you, but now they as soon as you move something they come because they are looking for food. Look at these horseshoe crabs. They are all over here. And that's garbage. There are hats. There are all kinds of stuff. Uh, there are shirts, there are underwear. We'll find out tomorrow what we can find. How about we just, tomorrow, we'll do a little detail video of this stuff. Well, let's see how many of the snorkels and sunglasses and all that we find tomorrow. Thank you, guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.